So, uh, my good friends at uh, Glossier sent me my package that I paid for. And I thought I was gonna put it on my face. Just realized I'm wearing the same shirt that I've been wearing in every video, so I'm gonna go change really fast. You don't even know this, but I'm not wearing a shirt right now. Okay, we're back. We did it. I'm looking around to see where some of my Glossier products are and realize there are some that I have decluttered. My Generation G lipstick, which I'm not a huge fan of, and my Cloud Paint and Dusk, I think, expired. It was just applying really strangely and I'd had it in my collection for a long time and so I don't have those products today. But I like the Cloud Paint. I just think I probably need to repurchase it and maybe a different tone like Beam, maybe? Dusk was just like a little too dark for me. So I'm gonna try and make almost all of these products glossy. I am like so close to doing a full face of glossy and I'm digging my bag, I'm sorry. I'm gonna do my best and I'm trying some new things and I'm really excited. So with my recent order, I did get their little uh, hair clips in the shade pink. These are pretty cute, y'all. Press open and clip into hair wherever you please. Well. I'm now a, a real beauty person now. So I picked up another Lash Slick. It's my favorite mascara. I love it. Mine was getting a little old. I picked up their lip gloss in the shade Holographic. We might need to apply this like right now. This is one of those products like I've been so excited about. Oh my goodness. That's what it looks like, you guys. Whoa, I'm gonna zoom you in. Whoa, I now understand why people, well I'm so zoomed in, one second. I now understand why people love this gloss because it doesn't feel sticky, but it feels so hydrating. Like it feels like I just put on like a whole bunch of Vaseline, but my lips look so like glossy, but in a beautiful way. This is an amazing product. Holy crap. How did it take me two years to try this? Like two years y'all. I also picked up their halo scope and I'm gonna have to wait and try this one. Like when I get to that point. Oh, I can't wait to use this. Okay, so let's get started on my face so that I can put this on. Okay, so first things first, we're starting off with the Glossier Skin Tint. I wear the shade G9, and I love that this just adds a really nice, kind of moisturizing base to my skin, and sort of evens out my skin tone, but doesn't really do anything. It's just like a perfect base for applying their concealer and their powder, which is one of the reasons I love it. Yes, my skin is slightly sunburned, I didn't put on sunscreen, which is stupid because I love the Glossier Invisible Shield and I had it with me and I applied it in the morning and then I just didn't reapply it on my face when we went out to tube and got burned. Now I'm going to go in with the Glossier Stretch Concealer and the shade G9 as well. And yes, that is a dog hair. I'm gonna kind of put this on my nose today just because of the, you know, sunburn. So what's up you guys, how's it going? Right now my sister is actually in town, but she and her husband are visiting their grandma. And so I figured while they're doing that, I could film and then I got the text message that my glossy package had arrived and I was like, perfect. My whole life is a full face of Glossier. So I'm just kind of dotting that on areas where I have a little bit more redness. But y'all know me, I really do like when my natural skin peeks through, especially freckles and all of that. Okay, so now I am going to set the face with my Glossier Wouter and I wear the shade G8 to G10. 
I do have the Glossier water brush that goes with this. I've talked about this a little bit on my channel. I don't actually like the way this applies the water on my face, but I love this brush for like bronzer or blush. I feel like it does a really good job. So I will use this brush later in the video, but I'm gonna go into my Eco Tools brush to apply this. I just feel like it has a little bit more dense bristles, so it applies the powder a little bit heavier, which I like. I feel like this is a powder that no matter how heavy you go in with, it still looks so beautiful on the skin and you really cannot use a heavy hand with this powder because it just never looks like powder when you apply it. I can't get over my lips right now, you guys. They're like so juicy and so glossy. They're gorgeous. I now need the Glossier lip gloss in every shade. So Glossier doesn't have a bronzer. It's one of the things that makes me so sad about Glossier. So I am gonna go in with my Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula, but I'm going to apply it with a Glossier brush. So I just tap that and put this in kind of the contour areas of my cheeks. I love that this bronzer has a little bit of a sheen to it as well. I feel like it just makes your skin look so glowy and nice. And this is why I feel like Glossé needs to come out with some sort of a bronzer that gives you this same kind of like glowy tan vibe. I also like to squeeze that brush and do a little bit on my nose. And just make sure that's all blended out by going in with a little more water of whatever is left on this brush. Before we go in with the Glossy Halo Scope, let's do my brows. I'm just gonna go in with the Glossier Boy Brow in Blonde. I did make a full dedicated video to this product showing how I would apply it over top of a powder or a pencil. But uh, I figure I should show you now kind of how I apply it on my brows. It's weird because this is not one of those products that I use often. But ever since I filmed that video, I kind of forgot how much I liked this. And so I still feel like it looks better when it's applied on top of my brow pencil because I do like shaping my brows with that product. But I still feel like this does a really nice job filling in my brows. I stand by what I said in that video though. I still feel like the tone is just so much darker than my natural brow color that I love how blonde my brows are and I wish it wasn't so dark, but I feel like it really doesn't look that bad. And I do put the product on the back of my hand from this brush, so I just pick a little extra up if I feel like I need a little more product. I am going to clean up my brows with a spoolie just to make sure they're really shaped the way I like them, just because this brow is wonky, y'all. I know this, you know this. We're just gonna kinda clean them up. I feel like going in with a dry spoolie, I have a little bit more control and can kind of shape them to a way that I feel like looks the most natural on my face. Okay, moving on. So now looking at the eyes, I do not have the Glossier Lid Stars because I feel like the whole concept of those shadows is so out of my comfort zone. So we're just not going to go in with an eyeshadow, but instead we're going to use the Glossier Play liners. So I'm going to do the color slide in Barack on my upper waterline and the Glossy Play Early Girl on the bottom. I look so weird when I do this that I want to edit it out every single time, but that's fine. You can just watch me make this face for like 30 seconds. I look crazy. I like these. I do feel like they transfer a little bit. Just a little bit. It does such a beautiful job lining the eye. Like you can see such a difference that they're high quality and really nice. So putting Early Girl on the bottom lash line. So that's what they look like. And now we'll go in with my Glossier Lash Slick and apply some mascara. This is not my new tube of it. So it's a little dry, but that's okay.
We'll do a little bit on the lower lash line just to add some dimension back. I do have the Glossé Play Vinyl Lick Vanillic Vinyl Lick Lip. This one's in the shade Pony. It has this really cool clicker on the back of it and then the product comes out of the little tip. This is what the shade looks like. So I'll do a little bit on my lips. But not too much. Because this is not my favorite shade, you guys. I have to be honest. But I do feel like it's a little too pink for me. I do apologize, guys. This is going to be like a chit chat. Get ready with me. But I don't know what to chit chat about. So probably next time I do this, maybe y'all should leave some questions in the comments. And I can answer your questions about anything you want. Let's apply this. Stab it on the cheek. I like this. It does feel really greasy, but I don't really mind. On the other cheek, I'm going to apply it from my fingertips to my face. That's really pretty though. Oh, I like that. Okay, so I'm going to warm it up on my fingertip and pick up that product and dab it onto this cheek. I do feel like when you swipe the product, it looks the same as when you dab it on with the finger. So you decide what you want to do. Holy goodness, guys, that's really pretty. And I get it. It definitely feels greasy. I know that was um, some people's complaints about it. But I kind of think that's what I like about it. Well. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. That was really fun. I haven't done a full face of Glossier in a really long time and I always forget how much I love Glossier products. The one thing I do wish I had was the lip gloss in every single shade, a Generation G lipstick in kind of a purpley tone, and then their blush in the shade Beam. Because I do like the cloud paints and I like how they apply, but I just felt like dusk wasn't working and it was expired, so. There we are. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more like this, stick around by subscribing, give it a thumbs up, comment down below. You guys are awesome. I love you. I'll see you next time on my channel. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye.